Hi, this is Linda. Good morning to you all. And I want to welcome all my new subscribers and I want to say hello and welcome to my standard uh, supporters that I've had for a long period of time. I really appreciate both of these groups. And I came on uh, YouTube today to share a new and exciting uh, journal. It's a six by nine and her name is Believe in Yourself. Uh, she is a uh, decoupage cover, sort of a mixed media type cover, uh, but in a different uh, format than my other mixed media uh, covers. And uh, she, like I said, she's a six by nine. She's got a hard uh, wood cover underneath this fabric. This is uh, part of the fabric from my uh, Silver War. Uh, reproduction 100% fabric 100% cotton fabric and she has a two and three quarter inch spine 224 pages and you can see I really had a good time here inside of her a lot of special uh, things going on uh, which we'll get to in just a minute and then but on the front uh, she has like I said fabric underneath over a uh, hardboard cover and then she's got some paper doilies that have been stamped. She's got this lace butterfly. She has a uh, faux leather uh, corners, uh, yeah, corner guards on. And then she has little pieces of the paper uh, from the paper pack, which is Dot Studio Designs Navy and Roses, which I absolutely uh, love all of his uh, papers and this was one of my favorites and I know there's been quite a few of us use this and so we all try to do different things with the patterns but it's it's navy blue uh, which is one of my favorite colors and roses uh, which is one of the few flowers that I can whenever I see it I can say hey that's a rose uh, I'm not a, a, botan a botanical type of girl and then you have another uh, lace butterfly here and then you have this gorgeous uh, lace coming across uh, with some blue ribbon that's intertwined in it and it goes all the way around and here is your uh, stitching in the spine and here is the back which is another one of his uh, papers uh, in the pack the navy and rose uh, roses and then the do uh, little doily and here's the corner guards and then the lace comes on around and all of this is on top of the fabric so the fabric is all the way around the journal and here it is in the top and you can see she's a little bit uh, alligator ish going on but that's that is because of the ephemera and the type of papers uh, whenever you start using uh, cardstock papers or art papers uh, it's going to add a little bit more bulk inside the journal but she's still got plenty of room to expand and you can uh, exchange all the uh, ephemera for your ephemera and, and uh, use them different ways. But let's open it up and you can see the fabric here, which is, uh, and then I have, uh, that is protecting the, the spine. And then here is part of the pack from um, Dot Studio Design and, and he is on Etsy. But right now he's on vacation. Evidently they have some kind of laws in Poland that he can only sell so much and then he has to close down his Etsy shop and uh, go on vacation until another time period. He was just up for the first of March just for a couple of hours and he sold his limit and he had to close it back down. So uh, if you like his stuff you can go and <coughs> go to a Etsy shop dot stu dots studio designs on Etsy and and there's a little uh, message there uh, email me whenever he's back uh, from vacation and and he will email you and the minute you get that email you better run over there and and see if you want to purchase any of his uh, digitals because like I said he was only on on live on Etsy March the 1st for a couple hours and then he was he had to shut down again 
So anyway, that's my story about that. And so all of this is part of his paper, and then I have this gorgeous little lace here, and I have a glassine uh, envelope, which is my pocket uh, with, with one of his tags with some little lace coming out of it. And some lace here. Got a lot of cutouts that I did and went through. And here's one of those little sticky things. Uh, they're little like gumdrops, but they got the flat backs. And I've layered everything. And I love this lace right here. And what you have here is I backed any of the glassine paper uh, with uh, support tape to keep it because it's a very delicate uh, paper. But even though I did fancy cut it here on the corners, and then the doily and everything has been uh, glued on, layered. But we use this all the way through, but it's all supported, extra supported. And then here's another back. And then you have this lace repeated. And I think all signatures are this beginning, this right here, this little pile, this one with the lace and the little postcard. And then you have some doilies, uh, cutouts, and you can journal here. And then you have a little pocket with uh, a couple of little cards from the paper pack. And then some fancy cutting all the way through. I used all kinds of scissors, uh, torn paper. And then here's another glassing envelope uh, with the little uh, decoupage there. And then inside this one, you have a postcard that is a, a card stock. And that gorgeous lace again. And then another layered element there and this is a pocket which I guess I forgot to put something in but that'll be uh, one good for you to put in and then uh, and this is heavy card stock and you can pry, uh, write on the back of that and then here we go in part of the signature now like I said all the signatures has this little group right here on the front and then we get into the, the larger pages and, and you can look at all of the, and I left the, the backs blank on a lot of his work uh, where you can write there. And then here is my coffee stain or tea stain, pardon me, tea stain paper. And I fussy cutted uh, all of this over here. And then I edged them with, uh, I think it was a vintage photo, I think it was, a distressed oxide vintage photo. Then you have a, from, uh, on my uh, Etsy shop, we have uh, some ledgers like this that is in uh, 10 different colors. And I uh, printed this out with a blank on the back uh, in a nice 110-pound uh, card stock. Coffee stain, tea stain. I don't know why I keep saying it. coffee stain. It's tea stain pages and then another one of his and these are uh, cardstock also and this is like a an envelope a folder type design and it is the center of the signature and I left it open and I put these fancy little guards on the corners where you can write on it or you can uh, tape it glue it shut if you wish but it just gives you another space. You can store something in there and put a clip here and it'll keep it closed. All kinds of things I thought that you could do with this folder type thing. And I made a little bow here. Uh, and you can feel the uh, wax linen, uh, Irish linen thread that I use in all my journals. Fancy tea stain again, which I love this treatment of the paper, but this takes so much time to punch all these out because there's no punch that this is this big. I wish I knew of one. And you have to go and get it all just lined up, but isn't that pretty? And this tea stain paper is the tea stain paper that, that uh, 
I did in my last uh, batch, and it just they all turned out just beautiful. Not too light, not too dark. And the other side of the ledger, and then another tea stain. stock and then here is the back you got a little pocket there a little writing and then you have the just a lot of this is the beginning of the next signature A little doily, all layered, and this is layered. And then you have another two little writing cards. And what this is, is a pocket on the back of the postcard here. Sorry, that was the back. So the back is the same as the front in the three different little uh, compartments of this glassing bag and the tag and a dolly and a pocket and then the lace. And you notice the doilies have been edged in the same uh, distress ink pad as the tea stain papers. Okay, now we're in the next signature, and you have the same uh, treatment, maybe just different, uh, like this one has a little tag here with some lace. I love the noise that you get whenever you're using glassing bags. And here is another pocket with a little, one of his little uh, tags that come with the pack. Another envelope with a little tag in it. Another pocket over here with lace. All of this was cut out and put in there. Okay, now here we go to the writing elements. Uh, this is the uh, like I said, the card stock, tea stain with the fancy ends. And this is the pretty uh, gray, I think on our website, we uh, on our Etsy shop, this is a gray uh, ledger paper. I think all 10 of them uh, on, on Etsy, and I always print them out on this beautiful white uh, card stock, 110 pound card stock. I think all 10 of them, you get 10 of them for a dollar or something like that. I think it's really reasonably priced. And here's another folder in the center. And it's the same with the guards, corner guards. And this one has a big pocket on the back with a, one of his big tabs and some lace. Love his paper. I just, you know, love, love. And I'm not a fan of roses necessarily. I mean, I'm not really a... That's not one of my favorite flowers by any means, but uh, it's just so beautifully done here. Tea stain. Look at that. And I just think that's the neatest designs came through this paper. And I love the contrast of the white and the tea stain. Here's the back of the gray ledger. And this has really minute lines of green and orange running through it. So does this one. Let's see how this is. All different shapes and sizes. And just loads of interest here in this journal. 
and a little cutout down here. A little pocket. Postcard. And the glassing bag on the sheet on the back with the doily layered. And a little frosted orange gumdrop there. And a little envelope that you can put something in. And I trimmed that out with another type of lace. A lot of lace. A lot of doilies. A pocket here on the front. A doily. And this is one of the banners that comes in the pack that I used as a pocket. And every one of these still have that fancy uh, front and back corners, cut corners. And a pocket here with another banner. And I got a little folder. And each one of these had this beautiful, uh, I think it's French scripting pages. And I um, cut along all the way around, cut it down just to give it a different size. And now we're into the main part of the signature again. Big pages, aren't they? A lot of writing spaces. Our scrapbooking, our, uh, you know, any, any, anything that you wish to do. And then here's a big folder again that you can write on or you can tape it up. This makes a nice little ad addition. So the same layout, basically the same layout. Now here's a little envelope that was in the pack that I cut out and put together and uh, did the doily and then I just clipped it right here. You can use it any way that you wish. This is just sitting right there, it goes right in here. I'll just and then the glassing bag with a little cutout. And here's another envelope with this cute little folder card. It is a chunky little journal. It's just all these special card stocks and uh, papers. And then this entrance and exit of the sheets of the signatures. Okay. And our last signature. This is from one of my botanical little books that I purchased off of eBay, an old vintage one. And it had, uh, this is September and it gave you the dates on the back. And it always has a beautiful, it's like a daily journal little book. And here is your center. And here's the other side of the little sheet. And the back of the signature, this one is, I think was a little bit smaller than the other one. I bet you thought that was going to get stuck, didn't you? And here is the back. The little pocket and a little tag with some little pink fuchsia ribbon. And here is the back here. With all of the pockets and everything uh, that was inside here, I didn't put anything in the back. 
I did the one here in the front, but with all of this going on in front of each and end of each signature, which also I thought was a good plan because you you have all everything in the center that is open for you to do whatever you want to do to. And then you have all of your pockets and stuff and in, in, uh, sectioned off in the beginning and the end. And you can see how you like that. And I'll be putting a uh, ribbon around this. Uh, I haven't picked out the color yet. I have so many colors in this mixed media uh, collaged front uh, going on that I didn't know. I think it's going to be navy blue. I think I'll do a navy blue and carry that out ribbon whenever she ships out. So I do appreciate you watching today. It was fun making this. I, I love the the style and the feel and the and the looks of her, how things just sort of stick out and and I love all of this going on and all of the different types of uh, tinted pages, untinted pages, uh, all these cutouts, fancy cutouts, and there is the back of her. I mean, she's just one heck of a, a journal. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you tune in for my next video. Uh, come visit me at Etsy if you want to see some more journals. And I appreciate your support. It means so much to me. If you hadn't already subscribed, please subscribe down below uh, and help me build up my numbers. Uh, it, it's such a battle for me because I don't do any uh, tutorials, you know, craft along with me uh, journals. Number, uh, number one, I, I'm not comfortable in doing them, uh, doing something like that because i watched so many of them and they all just talk constantly and this is about as much talking as I'm comfortable with and I don't know if I can uh, manage to do a good tutorial to show you how I do things and so there's so many there already that I have always I've shied away from doing them and I appreciate you supporting me anyway because this is my passion right here is uh, making them and sharing them and putting these in the hands of people that that do not do journals and they really appreciate the the handiwork and uh, the ha handmade elements of these journals so uh, thank you for your support and I will talk to you guys later bye bye